as you see here, we actually have uh, quite a bit of fallen trees down here uh, that were cut maybe three, four years ago. So we'll see, hopefully they're not too rotten. Um, we're gonna cut them up and kind of pull them out of here and see how much we can use for firewood this year because we're getting uh, okay wood right now. Like we've cut a lot that's been a, a couple years drying, but they could be drier. So hopefully this stuff is like <laughs> really dry and help us get through like at least the first part of winter so the other stuff can dry a little bit longer and then we'll go from there. So let's get set up and I'll show you everything we're gonna cut up. Okay, here we are. Uh, so this is just kind of on the, uh, where is it? trying to think here western side of our property this whole area we're going to clear out probably yelling um we want to clear all this area out for uh like a greenhouse and some more green space like pasture space for animals to kind of uh be able to graze on and for the chickens uh to free range on etc cetera, etc cetera. so all this will be mostly getting cleared out with some of like the legacy trees staying of course but uh these woods haven't been managed Ever, so there's a lot of overgrowth. Uh, so I think overall the trees will be much happier the ones we do keep. Uh, and we'll be able to you know, get some more food plots and everything like that. So I got like a, a birch here and some other guys. I'm gonna chop them up so I can bring them out. I'm gonna aim for four feet. I don't know how good I am at that, but we'll see and we'll go from there. Pile them up and see how many we can get done before I run out of gas or I get tired or whatever. Uh, or we run out of all the ones here and then we'll maybe drop some more for, for fun, so. Here we go. So it's not very big, but it's dry. So I don't know, we'll see. Maybe fine. Okay, real talk. Look at this place. It's so messy. Let's do um, a really quick cleanup. Let's just get things organized. Cause I think what I want to do is my gate is just behind here. Kind of right where that big green tree is. The other side of where my front gate, well, one of my front gates is. Um, so I want to main, like use this as a, a starting point to kind of push behind you to where the rest of the property is. Um, so we're going to clean this up a little bit, make it a little bit nicer to use. Um, and kind of make this maybe our next kind of forward operating base for cleaning up all the wood. Uh, we have about two and a half acres of woods. I think I'm, we're gonna clear here this winter is the goal. So uh, it's a lot. So let's, do, let's just get it done now. Housekeeping, let's get it done now. And then we'll get going, okay? Here, I'll put it down so you can see all the crap I'm moving around. Okay, that's my bad. I should be wearing my helmet. I was gonna do just two, two little, three little cuts, but then, you know, it gets addicting. So, uh, done with that. I'm gonna wear the helmet. I'm gonna take the jacket off and warm. Oh, thank God for Costco, eh? So we're gonna do like, we're gonna do uh, like a brush pile. Uh, a log pile that's kind of useless, like three to four or five inches, uh, unless they're super dry and delicious, then we'll keep them maybe. Uh, and then like a, a, an actual wood burning pile. So we gotta figure all that out, see where we wanna put them and go from there. Cut down some more trees, go to town. Why am I out of, why am I out of breath? I wasn't doing anything. I think I hold my breath when I uh, saw a little bit. I don't know, it is, it is hard work. You get sweaty. If you haven't never done it, it's really fun. Um, okay. Clean up time.
Not bad. This thing is warm, but it, it's really nice when you, every time you get jammed in the face with something, it makes you go, yeah, I'm glad I'm wearing it. Okay, I know half of this you can't see. But when you get the reveal, it's gonna be good. Okay, hey y'all. So, a little wardrobe change, new hat, I got a little sweaty, and some new colored pants. I, that was a good high kick. Um, so, um, I was cutting some trees, I had my helmet on, I was a good boy. Now, I don't have any cut chops to fit anymore, uh, and I had a tree fall on me, my head was fine, but I came down and cut onto my leg a little bit, and I got very lucky. I'll put up uh, some pictures right now of my, my pants and my leg i got really lucky um especially because I, I was using the, the steel 271 so it's a it's a decently powerful saw so it can uh it could do some damage so i got really lucky there uh and it, i ruined my pants so i'm gonna hopefully the wife can sew them up make them functional i really like them they're warm they're lined uh these are too i got them at costco they're great so let me show you what i did so this was all woods before and we've been clearing it and opened it all up i already took out 11 trees or 11 uh four foot kind of segments four foot five foot segments of logs and i just want to get the the remaining few out of here um i have some birch whoa whoa okay sorry i got some birch cut up back here that i'll take and uh and go from there i really i think i'm going to uh i'm going to cut those tall guys down too real quick uh, the bent over ones because I see them from the house and they always bother me. So I'm going to grab these. Sorry, here's the plan. We are going to load up the wood, get it brought back. That way we can see how many we have. We have 11 right now. I'm thinking we're going to be close to 20, maybe 25 if we're lucky. Um, and then we'll get uh, the rest of the wood that we've split and try and put it, put it away. It's snowing right now. I don't think you can really see it. Um, but it started, it's like three-ish. So we gotta get going because we got an hour and a half until sunset as well. So let's get going. Cause that, yeah, cause I, after now it's, she done. So here we go. Wow, okay. So, I cut down a few more trees. <sighs> oh, makes me happy. Here we go. I got like two more to put on there. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think it could take it. It's only supposed to take 600 pounds. I think we're going to leave it there so I don't break it. So. Okay. It's snowing. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it's snowing out. So we'll get going. Plus the 11 from before, 25. I was right on my upper estimate. So you can kind of see the snow. It's more like an ice pellet that's coming down right now. Uh, starting to get slippery. So let's get the... Uh, the wife wanted me to put compost down real quick. Think we can do it? Think we can do it? Let's do it. Okay, good. So we got the dump cart. Now we need a shovel. Okay, we made it. Here's my compost pile. It's covered in leaves. I don't think we need much. We have like 100 bulbs, not that much. So let's just fill it up and go from there. Okay, okay, that was a little more frozen than I thought, but we got some good stuff. It's decent, like it's uh, movable. So let's uh, pack it up, get back. Okay, let's go. We don't have much time. So it's gonna be hard to see, but uh, this is our garlic patch. It's not much, but it's a hundred uh, cloves or seeds or whatever cloves put in. So that means a uh, hundred plants and each plant does around 10 or 12, they say. It should be close to a thousand um, for next year, for the following year. So we're gonna uh, try and keep most of them for seed. Uh, and and then, you know, after that, we're good to go because you don't need like 10,000 of them. Um, so I'm gonna fill up a little bit of compost and then do a little bit of leaves if I, if I can, if I have time. Okay, that's good enough. Now we need leaves. I'm gonna go grab leaves. You don't need to see me grab leaves. Just gonna grab them, put them in a bag. I don't. Is that is that good? I don't know. You like it? Is it like a ball pit where like the more balls the better, so the more leaves the better? I know it's all gonna compress. Maybe we'll do a couple more. Okay, here's another one. <laughs> Okay. 
I think we need more. My host says so. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 that looked pretty good, hey? We got about two feet, two feet of, of leaves everywhere. It's like 10 bags. I only took like 20 minutes, but yeah. I mean, I have a lot of leaves, so it's not bad, but we'll see. I think that's enough. I think we'll go with that. We can always put hay on too, um, but I got to put firewood away. It's like pelleting, pelleting, ice pellets out. And my gloves are all useless and wet now, so I'm going to take them off, get some, yeah, look, they're just useless at this point. So, but it's almost uh, sunset. So I'm gonna go get some new stuff, get some wood real quick, and then we're gonna put the, the birds to, to bed. And then that, there's another night. I mean, that's the thing when you're up here in Canada in the winter, you know, night comes at 4 35 p.m and you're done so we'll see uh i have jobs to apply for so it's not a big deal but uh we'll be back in a minute hopefully uh finishing up the firewood and then we'll see Whew. okay so uh, executive decision has been made we're not going to do any more wood today i am a tired boy it's uh 4 30 so it's like sun has set there's no sun anymore it's just about to get dark any minute now uh, thankfully the phone is quite good. You can see quite well, but it is actually quite dark now. So I'm just going to grab wood for the house tonight and then cover up the rest. Um, and then put the chickens to bed and the ducks and the guineas and all that. And then call it a night, I think, and, uh, watch some Jersey shore or something real, real classy on the TV. So here, I'll show you real quick. I'm going to close up everything. We're just going to tarp it as the best we can. I got this big tarp. I came with the house, that orange one. So let's see how much we can cover. Let's go from there. Wood for tonight. I guess we'll, should we cover the, uh, the big boys that we did today? Cover those guys up? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let me get some tarps real quick and then we'll get these guys covered. Get everyone ready for snow tonight. There we go. So, sun setting, it's 
sunset, it's gone. And everything's tarped up. We're good to go for the night. Um, that's it. Tune in tomorrow to see how much snow we get and what it's like here with the snow. And I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. Thank you.